back to my channel. I just got finished filming this video. You can see behind me, there's the, um, the destruction. I am pooped. I don't know how um, fashion bloggers do it, but I shared with you my homeschool mama wardrobe for spring, and I'm sweaty and exhausted, so I hope it was worth it. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up, please. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Hope from digthegoodlife.com and today's video is going to be all about my spring stay-at-home homeschool mama's wardrobe. So in this video I'm just going to be sharing with you guys my outfits, um, some of my favorite pieces that I have thrifted and recently bought and how I kind of put it all together to make a comfortable um, yet a little bit classy I feel like um, wardrobe for anyone but for someone like me who is a homemaker and a um, stay-at-home mom, homeschool mom. So this first outfit was um, a sweater that I recently thrifted for $2.50 um, and a pair of these joggers that are so comfortable. They have the elastic waistband, but I feel like they're tailored really well and they are flattering. Um, they look really cute with a t-shirt like here. Um, I love to do a little French tuck in the front and I can wear these with my clogs, my dance coat clogs, um, or my chacos, or a pair of Mary Jane flats or anything I want to. Um, here's a little bag that I just recently got and I am loving being able to run in and out of places without lugging my backpack that has all my essentials in it. This just holds my wallet. So this next dress um, is one of my new favorites. I actually bought this new from Target. It's a Universal Thread brand. And it's just a cool, easy to wear cotton dress. It has pockets and buttons up the front. I really like to wear it with a t-shirt underneath for a little bit of extra coverage. and. Um, here it is up close. You can see the pretty buffalo check pattern, pockets. It's got that kind of old-fashioned, simple, timeless look that I really, really love. Here I am wearing it with a lightweight duster length sweater. I really am enjoying this sweater with dresses and pants. It's that perfect layering piece for the spring. Here's another style of my favorite cotton dresses. I have three of them now. These are from Walmart, actually. I love the drawstring waist. You can kind of cinch it in, give yourself a little bit of shape. They're super cool and comfy. They also have pockets and just kind of sweet little details. The little row of buttons, the little folded cap sleeves. I think they're kind of classic and timeless. And here's just a close-up of the backpack that I carry. I love this Cave brand. It's excellent quality. Here is an example of one of three of these types of dresses that I own. They're super easy to wear. I feel like they will go with basically any thing for any occasion. They're super comfy. They're kind of a stretchy jersey material. They're also universal thread from Target. They're also really great for layering. So here I am with the um, wool sweater from earlier over top. Kind of gives a skirt look. These are my main shoes that I'm gonna be wearing in the spring and summertime. I have Chacos, these new pair of Dansko clogs that I'm in love with, and a pair of Birkenstock kind of looking sandals. They're definitely not Birkenstock. I plan to invest in those soon. And then these are Tevas. I love these sneakers. And in case any of you have as difficult a time as I have had with storing shoes, here's an idea. I got an over-the-door storage organizer and it's working really great. So everybody has an opinion about rompers, I feel like. You're either in 
the love it camp or the hate it camp but I'm in the love it camp <laughs> this is a simple black romper also by Universal Thread and it's great for layering it's really cool and comfy it's got pockets Here I am wearing it with the vest that I love. Um, it's got lots of pockets, zippers. It's kind of structured, so it's nice to throw over top of something more relaxed and give it a little bit of shape. And it's great when it's a little bit cool. Here it is with one of my favorite cotton dresses. It's just super versatile. So this outfit is a pretty skirt that I just bought from ThreadUp, which is an online um, thrift shop. And I really like the way it looks with a shirt tucked in and my dance code clogs. It's got a pretty tie. Here I am in my favorite pair of high-waisted mom jeans. They're kind of cropped length. They're from Old Navy. I think they're the ultra high-waisted. They are so comfy, you guys. I love to tuck a shirt into them. I love a good graphic t-shirt. I'm kind of building my collection lately. I've got some scripture, um, quotes. I love this one from I believe it's a company called Motherhood and Apple Pie. It says Madre. It's one of my favorites. I'll put a link to where I got it below. Um, another thing that I really like, almost all seasons, I'll even wear them with leggings in the winter, are comfy, stretchy uh, skirts. So I've got a couple of them. They're both striped, but they're super, super easy to wear. Now here's something um, that I'm not going to try on, but I wanted to show you because I just recently got this at Walmart and you guys, this is so comfy for around the house, like bed bedtime to sleep in. It is so cozy. And last but not least, my swimsuit for this year. I finally broke down and bought a new swimsuit. It's a one piece with these feathers. It's got a crisscross back, which is the style that I feel like is most flattering for my wide shoulders. And then I got a crochet skirt um, bathing suit cover-up. Okay, y'all. Well, thank you for watching my video. I hope you got some ideas for spring outfits. If you're new here, please hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.